Are you kicking too high in your kata? As we see here in this clip, if you kick low, the body drops forward, but if you kick high, you push the body back. So in Gorju Kata in particular, the low kick is preferred because th there's often a follow-up after you perform the kick. Some of these follow-ups you'll see in the following clips. So you see here, you kick to the leg, the body drops forward and exposes the arm to attack. Here the body drops forward with a low kick. And the same here. Every time you do these low kicks, it affects the posture and structure of the opponent. This is why it's so important. We see these kicks starting in Gekisai Kata, um, in Saifa, in Sansadu, following up with uh, elbow strikes or some other type of technique. The purpose of these low kicks is to destroy the base, uh, to injure the legs, make the opponent vulnerable.